What are you doing here, you punk? Well, I was just saying I got a signed order from Village himself, saying I'm a full member of MIT now. Read that one. Go f yourself. Fair enough. Good morning, Market Sub. As you all can tell, we've had some unwanted visitors. Enough said, move in. And from previous experience, I know that a clean workplace is a happy workplace! First up, we have Kathy with a segment on anti-bullying. You suck. Take that away. It's anti-bullying week. I like to think that Isfeld doesn't have a bullying problem, but I guess I'm gonna find out. <laughs> Loser. Do you think Isfeld has a bullying problem? No! Do you think Isfeld has a bullying problem? Not a really big bullying problem, but it's not like it's not there. Just people don't really talk about it. It's not a, necessarily a really big problem, but it's still there. Alex, have you ever been bullied at Isfeld? Uh, no, but I, I do quite a lot of bullying. I hunt kids down kind of like a predator and run them over. I'm here with Morgan. Morgan, what can we do to stop bullying at this school? Well, there, it isn't very bad right now, but it's, yeah, if you don't have something to prove, you don't have to prove something if you're an inch taller than someone. You ever been bullied? Yeah. All the time. But what? My height. <laughs> you are a little short. So we don't have much of a bullying problem at Isfeld, but it's nice to see everyone out wearing pink. Hakuna Matata! Kumbaya! Back to you, Nikki. And next up, we have Eli. Which, speaking of which, placed second in the public speaking competition. Let's all give him a round of applause! Yeah, but anyway, here's Eli with something that we all hope's coming soon. The sun is starting to poke its head from the fickle clouds again. My god, are we in for a beautiful summer or what? It's only February and the weather is starting to get nice. I'm going to get some helpful tips for you on how to prepare yourself for the summer. Tip number one, start tanning. I know we've got a tan-free grad, but that doesn't mean a couple of natural rays won't hurt your beauty. Tip number two, uh, strain your body, hit the gym, start jogging, start eating healthier like last week's tips, and you'll really start to get jacked. Alright, so another healthy tip is to keep constantly hydrated, you're going to be in the sleep, heat, you're going to be getting heat stroke if you don't keep hydrated. So constantly drink water. Watch your fluids, kids. Get lots of sleep. Since you won't be going to school over the summer, yeah. you can sleep in okay. till 12, 1, 2, who... To contradict my last statement, you could get a job, thus requiring you to wake up at an earlier hour and not get as much sleep. Or you could just not stay out all night partying all summer. <laughs> So, what are you doing to prepare for summer? Oh, well, I'm going to get a bunch of guys together, a bunch of girls, go hang out in Topino for the summer. Nice, that it's sounds like a off. sounds like a wild time. It's going to be a party and a half. What are you doing to prepare for summer? Well, I'm already collecting the books that I plan to read through the summer. Nice. What ones? Well, I'm thinking maybe some Napoleonic history might focus on some medieval satire and you know you cannot beat Margaret Atwood. So what are you doing to prepare for summer? Working hard at Starbucks and saving up for Mexico. Don't get beat up in any elevators. I hope to see you this summer with ripping six packs, crushing six packs of water and uh getting your sleep, getting your job on, you know, having a good summer. Enjoy it. Summer 2012. It could be our last. Haha. -ha. Back to you, Nikki. Really, Eli? <laughs> it's March. Did you eat a little too much glue in kindergarten? <laughs> <laughs> Lastly, we are contractually obligated to show another one of these. Blah, 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 blah. So, next up is... <clears throat> Call. Colin. Colin? 
<laughs> Alright folks, welcome back to Cookie's Corner. Now we're reoccurring segment. Now today, I'm going to tell you what really crumbles my cookie. really crumbles my cookie? When people are walking in the halls talking to their cell phone, people are trying to learn. You know what really crumbles my cookie? These secretaries are too nice. They need to get a little meaner. You know what really crumbles my cookie? When one week, I tell people their parking sucks, and then the next week, they go something like this. This learns apart, park, people! You know what really crumbles my cookie? Like, really deep down crumbles my cookie? These water fountains. First of all, there's always garbage at it, or gum, and then... And then, when you finally get one that works, there's no water coming out. <laughs> what really crumbles my cookie? The fact that I don't get my own show. I mean, I'm clearly the best here. I mean, every every day I should get my own segment. Back to you, unimportant person. Sorry you had to sit through another one of Col <laughs> Colin's segments. Although this theme song is pretty catchy. Cookie, cookie. Speaking of which, <laughs> I can go for a cookie. Ah. So that just about has it for this week, folks. This just in. Teachers are streaking. Oh, striking. So bar up your windows. I don't trust anybody.